Hey guys, it is John with Long Haul Lifesavers, and today we got a new bumper. So, a bumper is all fixed, and back we had it installed at a shop down the road. Normally, I would put something on like this by myself, but being in an RV park, we really don't have the tools. So, I had them go ahead and put it on, just install, get the bolts tightened, and everything. And then I went ahead and went in and did the wiring for our front sensors and the fog lights, got all those installed. That way I had a little bit going on with it. Let's go over what this is. So this is a Ranch Hand Legend series. And as you can see, we have a front camera on our grill. So I got the one that has the cutout here so that I can still see everything when I'm driving. It also comes with the front receiver. So I'm gonna put a big old hook on there so if I run into somebody, I can just rip their bumper off in one fatal swoop. We are also able to retain our original tow hooks, our original fog lights, and it comes with the holes for our sensors. So as you can see, this thing is, I mean, look how thick this thing is. And it is massive. So let's see, this one's probably a little better to see it from the other side. So not only is this a brush guard that protects our lights, grill, radiator, you know, all the important stuff, but it also replaces the bumper. So it wraps all the way around. Gosh, my truck's dirty. Wraps all the way around to where our original bumper was. Sorry, I'm hobbling along. My, uh, my foot still hurts. Okay. So a couple of things, um, I'll probably pull out the mat so I can get you guys under there and show you really what I'm talking about. But I originally wanted the people that were putting it in to do everything and I wasn't gonna do any of the wiring or anything, but they couldn't really figure figure out how to put in the sensors. Um, what they were using was these rubber grommets and they're not really made for that. So what these rubber grommets are for is if you don't have the sensors and you wanna run wires to let's say a light bar or horn or something like that. You put this around that hole so that you can feed wires through here without them getting damaged and stuff like that. Well, these aren't actually made to house the sensors. So let's show you what is. What is made to house the sensors are these little caps. Now you can see it's kind of like pulled up right here, but that's because of the diamond plate. If you get on one of the front ones where there is no diamond plate, it's pretty flat. What these were is these, this outside piece right here. This was actually a cap and the person that was putting it on thought it was just a cap to cap off the holes if you didn't have the sensors. Well, actually those are made so that you can cut out the center ring and retain your original housing, this plastic piece to hold your sensors in so that way they attach. Now, when you're putting these in, you're gonna have some issues with the wiring and you have to make sure that every sensor that you pull out of your old bumper goes in back into the same location on your new bumper. And what I mean by that is, see if I can get under there with my gimp foot. So what I mean by you wanna make sure that the right sensors go into the right place, you can see this one right here. See how it's kind of at an angle? See how it uh, attaches into that wire by an angle? So what you wanna make sure is that these wires are gonna be tight. Um, so you have to reposition them to get more slack out of your wiring. Now there's one over here by the fog light. Uh, you can't really see it, but right up under here that one is straight across so instead of being attached by a 90 degree angle it's straight across so you want to make sure that one goes in here because that one goes behind your fog light so it has it can only go there well they were trying to flip them around where the flat one was going here and then this angle one was going over here and none of the wiring was working just if you put one of these in make sure you put your sensors in where they came out of your old bumper. I also seem to have lost a hubcap. So that's not cool. I'm gonna have to find a new one of those. The only thing we have left to do with this is when you do take out your sensors and re-plug them back in, a lot of times you have to reprogram these sensors because they won't read right. And our truck actually isn't reading the right distance. So we were driving down the highway the other day there was like a semi probably 300 yards up the road and it was reading as if the semi was right in front of us. So the distance um, is not reading right. So we have a time scheduled for this to go into the shop and get all those reprogrammed. Once it's done, should be fine, no issues. That's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. I will post a link to this down in the description below. So if you're interested in one, until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and then head on over to Instagram. Follow us at Long Haul Lifesavers. See you guys.